There are a few different ways to bind multiple receivers with the Ethos systems. I'm going to show how to do the ACCST receivers having multiple receivers bound up. So here I have three X8Rs connected to servos and I have just a basic model set up here with the AETR mixer. I've got my throttle and rudder set to channel 9 and 10, that's for a later demonstration, but my aileron and elevators are on channels 1 and 2. So I'll go to the RF system, and I have my internal module turned on with type ACCST D16. Now all of my receivers have been updated to the V2 ACCST firmware. And to bind them up, I'm just going to hold the button down on each one as I power them up. So I have a BEC plugged in and I just have them all daisy chained on the power. So when I hold the button down and power this one up, the ones that are not connected will blink red and the one that's in bind mode will have a solid red. So for my first receiver, I'm going to scroll down to bind and I'll choose the Telem channel one through eight Telem on option. Bind. You'll see the receiver start to flash, confirming that it's bound. So I'll back out now and I'll power cycle everything. And my bound receiver will come up and now I have control. So when you bind multiple receivers here, you can only have one receiver for ACCST with the telemetry option. So for the next receivers, I'm going to bind them with telem off. So I'll hold the button down on the next receiver. Telemetry power it up. lost. When I click bind, I'll choose one through eight telem off. Bind. My receiver will start blinking so I know that it's bound and I can power Telemetry cycle everything. Recovered. And here you see now I have control. Same control, channels one and two, outputting to both receivers. For the third receiver, I'll do the same thing. Telemetry lost. But this time, when I bind it up, Telemetry recovered. I'll choose channels nine through 16, Telem off. Bind. It starts Telemetry blinking, lost. so I know Telemetry it's bound. Recovered. And now, for my third receiver, Telemetry lost. it will operate off of my throttle and rudder stick, which I've programmed to channels 9 and 10. So that's how to both bind multiple receivers with the same channel outputs, as well as bind with extended channels 9 through 16 for ACCST receivers. The access receivers are a little bit different. I'll show those on another video.